I'm here to tell you about this exciting new adventure that we've gone on to make more bourbon. Hi, I'm Phil Brandon. I'm the founder and head distiller here at Rocktown Distillery in Little Rock. For the last three years, we've been working on a special project to bring you this new straight bourbon whiskey, and I can't wait to tell you the story. It all started because we needed to make more Arkansas bourbon. I did some research and it was gonna take a lot more money than I had and take a lot longer than I could stand. I just didn't have the time to wait. And so in doing my research, I, I found Bardstown Bourbon Company in Kentucky and their collaborative distilling program. I was like, well, that'd be great, but do I really wanna make bourbon in Kentucky? I'm from Arkansas, I'm really proud to be from Arkansas. That, that's kind of my thing. I use Arkansas corn and Arkansas wheat. I found out that they would let me actually bring my Arkansas corn and wheat up to Kentucky, make my recipe there at their facility, and I was like, well, that's a no-brainer. I got to do that. We took all of that to Kentucky and using their expertise and their skill, distilled Arkansas bourbon at Bardstown Bourbon Company. So in March 2020, I drove up to Bardstown, Kentucky and met the trucks from Stratton Seed that were loaded full of Arkansas corn and Arkansas wheat at Bardstown Bourbon Company. There's a, a little contraption that goes under the truck with an auger in it that captures all the grain, pushes it up into the grain hopper. From the grain hopper, we've got whole grain in there. We have to mill that grain down to a nice flour or grist. And then we measure and weigh how much grain we have and use that to then put in a cooker with water. So this cooker has hot water in it. It's mixing very fast. And what that does is gelatinize the starch inside the grain so that when you add malted barley, the enzymes are gonna break down that starch to fermentable sugars. You're gonna cool the cook and then pump it to the fermenter and add the yeast. So you control the temperature of your fermentation. You uh, let it sit for 72 hours. So then we pump that to the distillation column. Alcohol has a lower boiling point than water. So when you begin to heat up the mash in the, in the still, the alcohols are gonna boil off first because they have the lower boiling point. So those alcohols are gonna separate during distillation and be collected. And that's what we're gonna then put in a new barrel to become a bourbon whiskey. So the column seal collection consists of three different bourbons. We've got the 92 proof small batch, great easy sipper, great for old fashions and mixing in your favorite bourbon cocktail. We've got the toasted French oak collection, which is my favorite. It's been additionally finished in toasted French oak barrels, which gives it light toasted caramelized marshmallow notes with uh, s'mores and graham crackers, delicious sipper there. And then our Pentultimate is our single barrel cask strength. This is where I go through every single barrel we have, pick the best ones, and from that we bottle it uncut and unfiltered at cask strength. So the Column Cell Collection will be available at your local liquor store that carries Rocktown. It'll also be available through our online store at rocktowndistillery.com, and you can also get it here at the distillery in Little Rock, Arkansas.